tell us the difference between a, a will and a living will. What do people need to, to make sure they're aware of? Okay, um, it, it's a common question we get. And, uh, you know, the living will is kind of an interchangeable term. You'll hear it uh, several times referred to many different things, but um, even at our office, we refer to them as a durable power of attorney with a health care directive in it. And a regular will or a last will and testament that's the one that we all hear of that, you know, when someone passes away, you know, that uh, entails all their wishes and requests in it. The living will is going to handle things while they're still alive, but they're unable to make their decisions on their own. And that could be from anything to mental illness, to age, uh, any kind of incapacity, even prison. Um, the living will directives uh, could even take over situations where if you're in the hospital and you were to go into a coma or anything like that, uh, the doctor says there's no hope, you know, that uh, you'll be you know, brain damaged. At that point, uh, whoever you've given, you know, your power of attorney to in the health care directive can actually make that decision for you. And it wouldn't just be left up to anybody. And, well, I was going to say, how important is it to have a will? If somebody's watching, they're thinking, well, I don't have an estate. I don't have a ton of things to leave. How important is it that they um, still consider getting a will? I, I try and scream it from the mountaintops for everybody to get one and you know people may think oh that's an attorney wanting to drum up some business for herself and in actuality an attorney will get more business if you don't have a will. A will is you know fairly simple, fairly inexpensive um, and you can take care of the majority of things um, you know within you know 10 or 15 minutes and talking to an attorney and giving your information over um, rather than leaving it for you know your your relatives to have to deal with it's it's very important and I believe that stat uh, that we'd read earlier of 70 percent of Alabamians don't have a will and I would believe it I believe it uh, and it's amazing to me how many people uh, believe that you know their power of attorney actually will conduct anything um, after somebody passes away and that's not the case you know the power of attorney extinguishes upon death the will takes over afterwards